Who would have ever thought that the participation of myself in a blog like BudPortland.org would lead to wild allegations of sexual impropriety and allegations of being a threat to the public safety. Well, that's what happened, folks. I got involved with the bicyclist being crushed issue that was being discussed at bikeportland.org. And uh, I immediately started kind of poking fun at them by posting the, uh, the classic video of the bicyclist who blocked the bus on the Hawthorne Boulevard only to have a passenger exit the bus and punch the guy and throw the bike out of the way so the bike could continue. I mean, so the bus could continue. And uh, that's how it all started. And lo and behold, 24 hours later, it turned out that the bicyclist had lied about the incident and that the bicyclist himself had, had put himself in harm's way. It had nothing really to do with the bus. And uh, the owner of the blog, Jonathan, who, by the way, I hold no res I know you have nothing to do with all of this, Jonathan. I hold you completely uh, harmless on any of the events that have happened since this. You, you have nothing to do with the nature of the bloggers that are on your blog and their inability to act correctly. Anyway, it turned out that the uh, bicyclist had created the situation himself, and so then I posted a video where I called all Portland bicyclists liars. And the point of that video was to show people how it feels to be branded as a group for the actions of one. And the discussion went on, and then I made another video explaining why I made that first video. And then Jonathan had posted it to his blog with an embed. Well, anyway, uh, apparently some people weren't happy about that. And uh, somebody by the name of Marcus Griffith posted an entry on bikeportland.org uh, calling me a threat to the public safety and how dare I represent TriMet and I'm uh, doing all kinds of things that could kill people and he posted my driver number and my name and my email everything but my actual social security number and date of birth okay so uh, no big deal but then I get a letter from somebody by the name of Janet Delaware, a little quick email asking me not to film while I'm driving, and I sent her back an email explaining that I'm not filming when I'm driving. And I also sent her my response to Mr. Griffith, at which time she sent me another ranting, wild email, all on my blog, though. You can read all of the letters that are posted on my blog. She sent me back a, another letter calling me uh, she's going to cut my balls off. And then she proceeded to send a letter to the uh, Portland Mercury accusing me of sexual, uh, filming women's asses. That's what she accused me of to the, to the Mercury. And I, I'm sure to try met too. So, uh, so uh, she's made allegations of sexual misbehavior. I don't even know who she is until she sent me the first email. And then a man by the name of Bruce Stevens decided to send a letter to TriMet and the Willamette Week about my threat to the public safety and podcasting while driving. Well, anybody that's seen any of the videos sees that what I am doing is driving the bus and talking. I'm not podcasting anything. Somebody else is filming me. I'm not doing the filming. I'm, I'm following the TriMet rules and regulations and talking to a passenger, just, just like I would do any other day of the week. Camera or no camera. That's pretty much what I do in my job. I'm carrying on conversations all day long while I'm at work. So he sends a letter off to Willamette Week saying that I'm a threat to the public safety. Okay, to make a long story short, I've offered myself to both the Willamette Week and the Portland Mercury. I'd be happy to give them full interviews about all of this and uh, I'll stand against the charges. I'm sure I will be hearing from the TriMet HR department and I, I've actually been quite surprised that I haven't had to deal with them up till now. I mean, those of you that have followed this blog over the years, I've had my ups and downs and taken my bumps and bruises and, and uh, still, I'm still here. Now, this is, this is a more concerted effort by obviously a bunch of sock puppets who are following somebody's marching orders to bring Al M down. We have to bring Al M down. And so as a group, they're making this co coordinated effort 
against me in the press and I'm sure at TriMet. So uh, it will be an interesting adventure for me and my blog to see how this develops. And I'm sure for the first time in my career, I and all the viewers of my blog will get to see the inner workings of the TriMet HR. The HR department is the, the two words that shriek terror in the heart of every TriMet employee is the letters HR. Well, I'm quite certain, given the nature of the allegations, that HR will be calling me in for an interview, and I will be reporting daily on the events subsequent to all of these false accusations, and we'll follow this story. This gives a, a new a new point to the blog, I guess. And uh, I would have never believed in a million years that bicyclists could get this vicious. I, you know, the last time I had this much furor was over the teenage kissing lesbian. Do you remember that story? That turned out to be a similar kind of hysteria aimed at me. Uh, but <laughs> bicyclists, I, you know, I, I never said anything of a... During that first story, you know, those words were taken way out of context, too. And now the second story, I, don't, I just can't imagine that bicyclists would get so upset to actually go to the point of libeling me you know that that really surprises me uh, although I guess bicyclists are liars and maybe she's like proving that to me or something I'm not sure what their point is but we'll see how it all develops and hopefully one of the news media outlets will actually uh, have me appear and uh, I, that holds for KATU or KPTV or COIN or KGW Anybody wants to discuss this with me, I'm completely open to it. And bring Janet Delaware along and bring uh, Marcus Griffith and uh, Bruce Stevens. As a matter of fact, the, the four of us can have a roundtable discussion on the ac accusations, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm very uh, anxious to dispute the charges here. They're all unfounded lies. They're all from hysterical people who seem to have a problem with my views on bicycling and bus driving. 